Ah, you can't beat the sights and sounds of Lake Como, one of the world's most scenic lakes. On today's video, we will walk its historic shores following the famous trail known as the Via Verde, which meanders its way above the lake from the picturesque town of Montrezio to the movie star villas in the idyllic town of Lalio. There will be no relaxing ferry cruise here, we can assure you. The best way to get a real feel for Lake Como's plentiful supply of historic towns is on foot. The Via Verde is a 7 km long walking trail. It takes about 90 minutes one way and starts in the hamlet of Tosnaco, which is situated at the top of Maltrazio. If you arrive by ferry to Maltrazio, before seeking out the Via Verde, it is well worth first taking in Maltrazio's fascinating sights and history. The town has been home to many historical figures throughout the ages. Even the famous former statesman and British Prime Minister, Sir Winston Churchill had a villa here as did the famous 19th century Italian composer Vincenzo Bellini. You will find Bellini's former residence right next to the ferry terminal, which in 2006 was converted into a recording studio by the lead singer of the rock band Muse. This is where our journey begins. Behind me is the Holy Staircase. It's named like that because people used to walk up there during religious procession. That's the first part of our walk. As you can see, it's quite steep, so it will be the first challenge. If you come by car or if you come by bus, you will be starting at the very top of Montrazio, which is where the Via Verde starts. However, we would encourage you to go down all the way to the lake because it's really worth looking at the village, reading all the signs about the fascinating history. And yes, it is a steep walk, but a worthwhile one. Or if you take the boat, you'll begin by the lakeshore anyway, and then you'll definitely have to walk up to find the path take the boat. But it's worth it in the end. We have reached the hamlet of Tosnaco, which is the start of the Via Verde. So now let's get started. A really important piece of information on the Via Verde is to follow these green spots that you'll see on the ground along the way. As long as you follow them you shouldn't go wrong finding the town of Lalio. As you can see behind us the Via Verde has leveled off so now we can enjoy the sights and sounds of Lake Como without having to put in too much effort. just left the town of Maltrasio along the Via Verde. This is the beginning of it. It's kind of like an old mule track that you follow. These routes are very ancient. In fact, the roads around here date back to before Roman times. And uh, actually the main road that you drive on follows the old Roman road. So there's not much left of the original main road, but these mule tracks are dotted around the shores of the lake and uh, this Via Verde follows uh, this mule track for quite a long time in between the towns and then obviously you wind through the towns but uh, you just keep following the green spots on the ground. Lake Como is a lake full of legend and history. Over the coming months we'll be visiting many of the towns along Lake Como so please subscribe to our channel in order to follow our adventures. All across the side of this mountain you can see all the ancient terraces, some of which are people's gardens today but in the past would have been used to grow crops and orchards and fruit trees of every variety and also vineyards. We have just reached our first stop which is the town of Karate Oreo. Once you visit these beautiful villages, it's very easy to just lose yourself in the beauty of the place and have your head off looking at all the nice old buildings. However, try to remind yourself to look at the green dots to follow the Via Verde. If you have a bit of extra change hanging around in your pocket, you can buy one of these really expensive lakeside apartments overlooking Lake Como. Along this route you'll find many ancient churches and lots of shrines dating back to uh, the early Christian period. The one we just passed is a 12th century chapel. You better be in good physical condition to live in one of these Italian villages because there's no roads and an awful lot of steps, so good for the heart. What 
una passeggiata sulla via verde e buone feste well that was nice we just walked past uh, some kind of automatic uh, speaker that told us to have a nice time and enjoy the via verde No, come back, you've gone the wrong way. The green dots go that way. I oh, know. Always remember, follow the green dots. Follow the green dots. We're meandering through the narrow alleyways on the edge of Karate Urio. Next stop, I believe, is Lalio, famous for its villas and where certain celebrities such as George Clooney live. On a day like today, Lake Como has many moods. The day started off sunny and now it's clouded over, but it's equally beautiful when it's cloudy compared to when it's sunny. And at this time of year as well, in late December, it looks completely different than what it looks like in summertime or in spring or in autumn. Even in winter time, you'll find oranges and lemons growing here on the shores of Lake Como. We've reached the town of Lalio. We're just descending down into the town and we'll take a look around the center and along the lakeshore. As soon as you descend from the Via Verde, at the very end of it, you're greeted by this villa, which is next to a pier. And this villa is owned by the film star, George Clooney. The town of Lalio is divided into two centers. There is the town, the center of Lalio and the center of Torrija. It's also quite interesting to know that it has Roman origins. It was governed by the Roman commander Lalius and that's where it took its modern name from. Another interesting point about Lalio is that it's the narrowest point on Lake Como between the two sides of the lake. As you walk along the lakefront of Lalio, you'll notice, apart from uh, lots of benches where you can sit down and enjoy the view, it's packed full of very expensive looking villas. So no doubt you need to have a pretty penny in your pocket to live here. It's not often that you see Saint George dressed as a Roman centurion. This is the municipal town hall of Lalio. In days gone by, it used to be a schoolhouse. This pyramid-shaped tomb is the tomb of the son of a German doctor from the 19th century, Josef Frank. Hopefully you'll find the information we provided useful for your trip to the Via Verde. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.